another question I wanted to double down and you know I'm getting a bit back again but um, obviously we've been talking about levels of civilization and levels of consciousness um, do you think our society and oh, rather our kind is capable of going up into this uh, hierarchy you know or do you um, you know and if so what would this entail for the human kind so I think we are there okay it's the end of childhood yeah that's what I meant like I, I think we are there humanity will now make a <coughs> oh, funny to say literally a quantum leap yeah you know not just a <laughs> Yeah. Just as an expression, <laughs> yeah. right? So we are about we are on the verge of making a quantum leap, and and something is is definitely is you know is changing yeah. on a massive scale. Yeah. I think you're gonna see an acceleration in various ways. Yeah. If you're gonna be alive for ten more years, then you will probably be alive for another 150, 200, yeah. or maybe more. Uh, Medical science is there now. Yeah. They figured out a lot of these things. They can gene edit. They can figure out the telomeres, like and how and why you age, yeah. and they, they can reverse aging, grow uh, organs, replace yeah. organs, clone things. So that's that. Yeah. That is that is rapidly developing. Add AI to that. Yeah. When AI can help develop that, it's going to accelerate crazily. Sure. So AI already catching medical, you know, diagnosis when it's wrong, and tell you the real diagnosis yeah. for just on data set. Like one doctor, how much experience one doctor has? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Imagine if AI have the access to all the patients. Wow. And all, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they instantly tell you what's what's wrong, and you can look at images and recognize images, and yeah. when the images re remember recognize tumors that just yet to form. Yeah. Right? So, so I think that's one thing. Yeah. So humanity will have more time. Individuals will have more time to develop. Because they will be alive for maybe hundreds. They won't be burdened by doing everyday right. stuff. Now, yeah. if I told you that you get three, four hundred years to live, out of a sudden, you wanted to be a pilot and other things, you now you have time to do all those things. Yeah. Now you're not planning to like a, a little short 70 years trip. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a whole different way, way you look at your, you know, also life will be more precious because it's like, oh my God, don't die. Yeah. Because I can be around for a long time. Yeah. Right? Now, all of a sudden, the future is become important. Now it matters to you that the planet is not going to shit because you build on, you be here, yeah. right? Yeah. See, see how it's gonna change your yeah. consciousness. Yeah. All of yeah, it is yeah, yeah. immediately changing now. Then, you know, that if if we are becoming space, I think Elon Musk is on the right path. Yeah. That people don't realize like how important actually what he's saying and what he's doing yeah. is that yes, we have to become a space fairy. Mm -hmm you know, species yeah. and multiplanetary and all that. And then a couple of things happen there too. If we start spreading out in the universe and because AI helps us build things that we couldn't before, yeah. right? So there's a, I, I expect a technological jump, yeah. a massive one, yeah. right? And out of a sudden we start colonizing, you know, okay, then overpopulate and, you know, growing food, running, you know, figuring out how AI can help, you can access water on various plants, now all of a sudden we start colonizing yeah. the solar system first, right? Sure. All of a sudden it's spreading out. All of a sudden this overpopulation is no longer a thing, right? Oh, yeah. So that's another thing that, that, that's, that's going away. Also, what you care about, right? Imagine how many of us are, are, are differently aligned, meaning you know, some of them are, some of us are nomads, some of them are farmers. Yeah. The nomads, like, you know, if, if I told you, like, hey, alien spaceship lands right now. It's <laughs> safe. Get in. Yeah. But you can't come back. Yeah. Some of us will go fucking hell. Yeah. Be going. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And some of us, well, I have to tell my, you know, whoever. Whatever. No, 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 no time. Get in. Who'd you go? See yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people would. It, right? It's so, clear. so what I mean is, like, imagine that, oh, a great portion of society start to look at it like, I don't care about goods and yeah. money and I want to travel the universe. Wow, yeah. See what I mean? Also, resources, out of a sudden we just tow asteroids yeah. that have, you know, the Gold materials that whatever, we need. Yeah. We need cobalt. There is yeah. a fucking asteroid that's made of cobalt. <laughs> yeah. right? So, you know, all these change, these things are changing now in our lifetime. And this is getting accelerated and, and, and with that, you know, when we're talking about, let's say the late 90s, right? 
Yeah. You had no idea that in 2005 an iPhone will come out and then from then on we're going to be on a fast track to have a computer in your pocket that has access to the full knowledge, the entire knowledge of human society. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Humanity. And so you didn't know how it's going to change society, right? Yeah. Even, you know, how we operate, like, you know, dating and how you meet people, even that, yeah. right? If in 2000, you said, I met a girl on the internet, people, dude, you're going to get murdered. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Now, if you don't meet somebody online, it's weird. Like, what do you mean? You True. met her in a bar? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? True. See what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So the norms that were thousands of years old are at the window. So now, with this technological advancement, man, society, what's important, what's not important, the development, how you see the world, everything will be upside down. It's just, let's hope that these idiots don't get into World War III. Absolutely, but, yeah. You know, but, but as I said, there's a possibility that we are looking at a lifespan of hundreds of years, and there's a possibility that what was important is completely out of the window, and most likely that is there. If I was a futurist, yeah. if I had to bet, this is how it's going to go down. It's also important that what is Musk is trying to do yeah. versus the other companies who are trying to own AI. Yeah. If you own AI, it will enslave. Yeah. If it's open, it will be the nanny of society. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah. You want AI to be the nanny. Mm -hmm. I mean, man, and the, the, the rules of robotics. I mean, like Asimov was talking about that, like what, 1948? Uh, 40, yeah. 48, when did he write yeah. iRobot? 48, yeah. 46, 48, the, the, there. Before 50, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it was 1940s. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be completely, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think it's 48. <laughs> yeah. So in, in that time, the rules of robotics were already established and, it, and it's pretty much stand up to this day. It's kind which, is, of, which is very interesting, yeah. Right? Which is very interesting. So, you know, so I think those are the things that now we have to attack and, and, and really develop. And so AI will become a nanny. And so out of a sudden, you know, even then there are question marks because, you know, it would be much easier for artificial intelligence to, intelligence to travel. Yeah. Versus humans trying to travel. Yeah. yeah. Right. So even there are question yeah, marks. Yeah. But, but hopefully we become a species that is protected, defended by AI because, I don't know, it's a zoo. We are rare. Yeah. And magical. And, and maybe because we have this consciousness that's connected to uh, universal yeah, consciousness, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's our value, possibly. Yeah. Right? And then this, this digital artificial intelligence will take care of us yeah. and make things possible. And we spread out, we become a type one civilization, you know? Yeah. And start, you know, start and probably you make actual alien contacts and, you know, and become a, out of a sudden, imagine if you start figuring th like things out like, Oh, wait a minute. Through wormholes, this entire yeah. universe is accessible. Imagine yeah. that. Now you're not thinking of like, oh, we don't have enough fish left in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole different thing. It automatically switches. And, and all those things, the same way how computer technology developed, that there is a phone in your pocket yeah. in such a, such a short period of time. Now we have a real accelerator. That's a, that's a very fair point. So I that, think it's an yeah. exponential explosion of technology that we're looking at. Both biology, technology, you know, and that immediately will bring everything with it, like society and what you think is important and how you think everything will change. Absolutely. Hap it will happen in our lifetime. This is happening now. I'll be so fascinated to, you know, explore that. I'm, I'm literally, you, you know, know, people like, you know, I used to say that, like, I want to be an astronaut and I will be in this lifetime. Yeah. And I didn't break it down because, you know, there is some, you know. Yeah. I'll wait for that. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I could talk because, you know, yeah, yeah, it's exactly. yours. Right. So, you know, so I didn't really break it down, like what that me really means. You know, people are like, oh, yeah, that's funny. You want to be an astronaut. Yeah. But I also think that I know yeah. that we can get there Absolutely. either because biology, science of, you know, medical science, an understanding of biology will come to a conclusion and come to understandings that they can they can extend your lifespan to hundreds of years then it's absolutely possible absolutely. that i can be an astronaut or you know or technology will we, we get to this level of you know high level or even maybe general in, intelligence yeah artificial general artificial intelligence then 
than men. That's all. That's more intelligent than human than men. Wow. We are off to the races. Yeah. Then then it can come to technology that it can happen yeah. or both can happen simultaneously. So is that a crazy thing to say? Well, if you are watching the future and you read science and you you watch this, then no. Yeah. You know, I'm not. I was not thinking like I'm gonna strap myself into a you know into a, a, a rocket yeah <laughs> the way that this is happening now yeah you know what i mean like this will rapidly change yeah and very quickly yeah it, it would be so interesting to follow that as well